Hi, I'm Eastkey Britton and I'm here at Rasnala Beach in Donegal where I learned to surf from the age of four. So my whole life has been lived in, on, near, by the sea. And what I want to share with you today is the power of that ocean connection and how it can benefit our health and well-being. As a lifelong surfer, I intuitively known and felt the power of the sea to heal my whole life. But also as a marine social scientist, I've been exploring and investigating that relationship we have with the natural world, and especially understanding how we might restore our relationship and connection with the ocean in particular, um, and the rest of the living world. So this connection with the ocean, wherever we are in the world, as humans on a blue ocean planet, um, is something I've been exploring really my whole life. It's the, the core theme in my new book, Saltwater in the Blood. Saltwater in the Blood is inspired by as my own life and upbringing by the sea, but also even in my name, Eski. I'm named after a wave on the west coast of Ireland where an important salmon river flows into the sea and Eski comes from the Gaelic for fish. So I literally have salt water in my blood. But my name also reminds me of how my identity and my health is tied to the health of the salmon, the river, the sea, that all our identities have been shaped and formed by the ocean. And the ocean is literally in our blood, our cells, and our very DNA from when our first ancestors crawled out of the ancient ocean. So as a marine social scientist, I'm interested in the sea's power to heal and different ways that we can like, tap into the healing properties and qualities of the ocean and the natural world. And what I want to share with you now are just some ways that you can do that wherever you are. And of course, it's enhanced if you get to be by the sea. These simple practices and exercises activate and tap into what's known as our blue mind. A blue mind state is enhanced when we're in, on or near water. And it's this psychological benefit, that sense of calm that we feel when we're near water, when we're looking out at the sea or when we're listening to sounds of the sea. Blue mind is the antidote to red mind. So red mind is that overstimulated stress response that's become the new normal of modern life. So 50 to 85% of the oxygen we breathe actually comes from the ocean, created millions of years ago by tiny plants known as phytoplankton. So every time you take a breath, you're actually connecting with the ocean. Breathing exercises uh, have always been my go-to as a way to ground, connect, or reset, especially when I'm training for surfing, and in particular, big wave surfing. So anytime I'm entering a scenario where I know I'm gonna be meeting challenge, where I wanna like, buff up on my resilience, where I know I'm going to be meeting or facing some of my fears, connecting with my breath is a way to always bring me back to my body and to be here now. What I also love about it is that we can access it anywhere we are at any time. We go through so much of the day with I being consciously aware of our breathing and I love this simple ocean breath exercise. It just takes one minute. Um, but not only do we connect with our bodies and our breath, but as we consciously bring awareness to our breath, we're also consciously connecting with the ocean. So for me, the breath uh, also mirrors the ebb and flow of the tides. It's a way to connect with my own rhythm, my own inner ebb and flow. So we move through so much of the day, breathing quite shallow in our upper chest. And what I wanna share with you now is just a simple breathing exercise that will immediately relax and reset, as well as helping us connect with the ocean. Okay, so very simple, wherever you are now, just take a moment to pause and notice. Be still, feel your feet on the ground. And if you wish, you can place your hands on your belly. So when you breathe in from the belly, it's way more energy efficient and babies just do this naturally. As adults, we tend to breathe quite shallow and get caught up in our chests. So just by starting to bring our awareness to the breath, deepening our breath by breathing from the belly, already it starts to calm our nervous system. So what we're gonna do now, I want to guide you through taking five breaths together by a one minute reset. And we'll begin by breathing into our bellies, inhaling through the nose for the count of four, pausing and exhaling for a count of six. A longer exhale also helps soothe our nervous system, stimulating our parasympathetic nervous system. So that's our rest, uh, relaxation, digest response, overriding our fight or flight response. So it really helps us enter that calmer, more meditative state with a longer exhale. 
So just begin by bringing your awareness to your breath. Noticing how the breath feels in the body, the rise and fall of your inhalation and exhalation. And begin by breathing in from the belly, through the nose for a count of four, and exhaling for a count of six. In through the nose, two, three, four, pause and feeling that expansion in your body and exhaling, one, two, three, four, five, six. In and out. Honoring your own inner ebb and flow. And just one more time, breathing in from the belly and gently letting it all go. And that's it. Take a moment to notice how you feel now. Perhaps you notice a, a tiny shift in how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling a little more calm or grounded. And this is something you can bring your attention to at any moment in the day, uh, even one minute and you'll feel the difference. And it's a way to connect with the ocean wherever you are. So there's really strong evidence to support the psychological benefits of water environments for humans. Um, of course, there's so many benefits to being outdoors in nature, but a lot of the restorative benefits, especially for our mental health and well-being, are enhanced even more if we're near water and especially the sea. So why water? Water is such a multi-sensory environment, especially being by the sea. We have the mix of sounds, smells, touches and tastes. And this multi-sensory quality to water helps us be more in the present moment. It helps us shift from our heads and into our bodies if we learn how to engage our senses. So I wanted to share with you a few ways that I deepen that connection uh, and help tap into that blue mind state. Water is incredibly visually stimulating. It really holds our attention in a relaxed and effortless way because of its constant movement. And the color blue itself is calming. Psychologist Richard Schuster has evidence that simply looking at water begins to alter our brain waves, putting us in a more meditative, calmer state. So any chance you get, just take a moment out and do some horizon gazing. <laughs> just pause and take in the colors and the textures. It's a really great way to take time out and to connect with your body. The other amazing thing about the sea, <laughs> you can tell how much I love the sea. <laughs> and it's little wonder that, you know, the most common kind of meditation sounds people listen to or sounds to help us sleep are often sounds of the sea or waves breaking. And this is because it's been shown that the sound waves that the ocean creates actually has that calming effect uh, and alters again our own brain waves, calming our nervous system. So it's a really great activity just to start to engage uh, our senses of sound next time you're by the sea. It's a real antidote to a lot of the sounds we're exposed to in more everyday urban lives of, of traffic, the sort of shrill staccato sounds. So when you're by water, especially moving water, it acts as this kind of sound bath that really cleanses and soothes um, our nervous systems. So a few ways that you can access that if you don't have access to be able to go to the beach or the sea or a river or listen to running water is next time you are there or you can ask a friend or family member to make a sound recording and take that with you. So you can record it on your phone and then play it at night and it will help you sleep. A few other ways that I love to really get grounded and, and, and connected with the natural world one thing that we do very little of uh, in our everyday lives is walking barefoot. <laughs> so I really urge you the next time you get a chance when you're outdoors, take the shoes and socks off of even just for a minute and just notice the difference, it feel, how it feels in your body. And this is enhanced if you can do it at the beach as well because of the texture of the sand beneath our feet. 
So we have 200,000 sensory receptors in the soles of both of our feet. And what happens when we're walking barefoot, it helps to enhance that connection between our bodies and our brains. And we're taking in this amazing information of the, the world and environment around us, enhancing our body's intelligence. And of course, it also has that soothing and literally grounding effect when we walk barefoot. Okay, last but by no means least, these are all ways to kind of build up our exposure and experience of watery places and the sea and the ocean especially. Uh, there are huge benefits to be had just being by the sea, but if you want an even uh, deeper experience, um, and let's go get immersed. It's really hard to beat the health benefits of literally getting wet and getting in the water. Immersion in cold water and the sea as a place of healing is something that's been known for millennia across cultures. And of course, in Ireland, we've seen a huge upsurge in recent times of people going to the sea and, and taking up things like sea swimming. It's, for me, a wonderful way to also reconnect with my body. Uh, again, there's nothing like uh, pulling you into the present moment than getting into cold water <laughs> and waking up all of those senses all at once. Uh, but there's huge health benefits to being in cold water. Evidence and science is coming out now to show that not only does it um, help us feel more alive and present in the moment, but it's also really good for our immune system and reducing inflammation in the body. At the heart of my work, it's about restoring connection, a connection to the living world around us and especially the ocean. It's also about recognizing how intertwined our health is with the health of the environment and that we can't be well in a sick sea. So it's really important that these practices are not only a way to, to deepen uh, our connection and benefit our mental health, but also to deepen our understanding and appreciation for the natural world and how much it has to give us if we care for it. So I really hope you have fun playing with some of those ways to activate your blue mind, deepen your ocean connection and connection to the natural world and begin to notice its effect it has on how you're feeling. And I encourage you just to reflect every day on what you're doing to deepen your connection. How is your love growing for nature and the natural world and the ocean um, and having that appreciation for how it makes us feel.